All right, thanks for taking a look at the T3 demo with me from Temco. The T3000 series HVAC building automation controllers are very versatile. You can control all kinds of heating and air conditioning equipment with them. You can do VAV, you can do PID loops, and so on. So let's take a look at the T3 demo revision one. If you have a demo that says revision one on it, it may look a little different than mine, but they're all wired the same and all the programs are universal. We are using the T3 Tiny Brother 11i. It has 11 inputs and 11 outputs. The 11 inputs are universal, so you can do open and closed switch. You can do many types of thermistors. You can do 0 to 10 volt DC, 0 to 5 volt DC, 4 to 20 milliamps. The outputs are six digital binary on-off relay contact and then five analog out that you can do voltage or current. The controller is compatible with BACnet over IP, BACnet MSTP, and Modbus. On the left we have our simulated inputs. The first two switches are occupied and safeties. They're just open and closed on off switches. The next knob or potentiometer is a 10K2 thermistor which is set point. Input number four is room temperature. You can vary your room temperature. It also mimics a 10K type two thermistor. Input number five is outside air temperature. It's also a 10K2. Input number six is carbon dioxide. That's reading a zero to 10 volt signal or simulating a zero to 10 volt signal, but it's really reading from a Temco zero to 3000 parts per million transmitter or sensor. So I'll show you how to set that up in the tables. And then input seven is the damper position. The outside, the outdoor fresh air damper actuator is zero to 10 volt signal. And it's gonna tell us whether the damper is zero percent, if it's halfway open, if it's all the way open. It's gonna give us a zero to 10 volt signal that represents zero to 100% open position. On the right, we have five relay outputs that are just going to bring on heating and air conditioning equipment. They're, they're dry contacts, so you'd get the 24 volts from the rooftop or package unit, whatever you're running, and you would engage first and second stage cooling, the fan, the, you know, the blower fan, indoor blower, and then first and second stage heat. And then the last output we have here is the analog. The analog one is really output seven is the outside fresh air damper, zero to 10 volts, meaning zero to 100% position. And the last output, output 11, which is analog out five, we're just gonna turn it on 10 volts DC to power our displays. On a computer network, the first three numbers are what network you're on, and the last number is your IP address for that device. So if you plug your computer directly into the ethernet port on the controller with an ethernet cable, it'll show you what your device's IP address is, and what the controller's IP address is. And if you match them and put the controller on whatever network you want to be on, then it'll be easier to find it once it's on the network. So we've downloaded and installed the T3000 software. So let's open up our controller and take a look. I'm going to click our controller, click output, go to output 11, I'm going to switch it to manual. I'm going to change the range to 0 to 10 volts DC. And then we're going to type in 10 volts DC. And then we're going to watch our damper displays light up. Now we know that we are connected to this controller and the controller is working. All right, next we're going to label our inputs. So we'll click inputs. Input 1 is occupied, unoccupied. So we'll name it full label. Pick Occupy and Occupy. And then our label is going to be OCC. That's what we're going to call it. And we're going to use that in the programming. I'll show you in a minute. Input 2 is Safeties. And that's an Open and Close input and we're going to name it SAFT for the short label
Input 3 is room set point. And the range is 10K type 2. That's what kind of thermistor it is. Or would be if it was real. It's a simulated thermistor input. And we're going to name that SETP. Input four is room temperature. Oops. Oops, I gotta go back to input three, input room, uh, set point, make it degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, input four, room temperature. Degrees Fahrenheit, 10K type two. And my label for this is room. Input fives, outside air temperature. Ten K type two Fahrenheit. Label that OAT. Input six. CO2 ppm. We use a table. We're going to make it two points, CO2 ppm. Zero volts is zero ppm, and 10 volts is 3,000 ppm. And then we need to change this to zero to 10 volts. Click apply. It should make two points in a chart with a straight line that five volts will read 1,500 ppm. Apply that. OK. Let's make sure it works too. Zero to ten, and then we should start getting a reading wherever the knob is set. And then we're going to name that, label that CO2. Input seven, that's our damper position. And that's our fresh air damper, our outside air damper. I'm going to make that read 0 to 100%, but it's going to be 0 to 10 volts. So if the damper actually opens or moves, it's going to give us feedback for its position. So if we're sending a the damper 5 volts, it should be halfway open, and it's not feeding back any movement then we know it's stuck or broken. Input 7 we're going to name that DPOS. All right, that's it for our input. Our output
digital out one or output one. Scrolling stage two. It's on off. We're going to label it Y2. Out twos. Scrolling stage one. Label it Y1. Out three's fan. And label it fan. Out four is heat stage one. I'm gonna name it our W1 terminal. Output 5 is heat stage 2. Sorry, 2, not 5. I'm going to name it W2. That's it for our digital outputs, our relay outputs. Out, output 7 is really analog 1, so that's going to be outside air. Damper. We're going to make that zero to hundred, zero to ten volts. We're going to name that LA. And then output eleven, zero to ten volts. And we're going to name that 10 volts DC. I wrote a quick program and called it output test. And this is in control basic language. There's a good bit about this in the software manual. What this does is this starts all the outputs. And it waits a second in between. And then it sends the outside air, which is OA, to 10%. And then it waits 10 seconds to open it. And then it, waits, it puts OA back to 0% waits another 10 seconds and then stops the output so we'll hit send to the controller and then see how it works okay our outputs are starting oh our damper is opening it's sending one volt which is 10 percent and it's going up towards 10 percent up towards one volt that's our feedback position okay went back to zero now it's closing again you can see the damper closing and then our output should stop. Great success.